Hey guys, I'm Hester and this is Handmade Home. I have another toy make for you today and one I'm really excited about. I love these wicker doll prams and I really want one for Kiki, especially because I thought it would make a perfect prop for a picture I have to take of her soon. Then I started looking online and I realised they start from 75 to 80 pounds, which I think is way too expensive for a kiddie toy. Then I was thinking, there must be a way I can make my own. So have a look at how I got on. So the base of my pram is a basket and I went to my local home sense and found this beautiful grey, uh, it's not a wicker, it's like a woven plastic basket. You're also going to need some wheels and I dug into my recycling bin and found these four lids I'm going to use as wheels. Make sure they're nice and sturdy and of course all the same size. Two pieces of 2x2 timber are going to be the frame for the wheels and it's going to have an overhang of one and a half centimeters on each side. Cut your timber to size and give it a good sand with your sander. Find the middle of your timber by simply drawing a cross and we're going to pre-drill a hole here where the wheel is going to be attached to. I'm going to give my frame a coat of paint. I'm using any Sloan chalk paint in graphite. I used a piece of tape to mark out the middle of the lid. This is where the hole for the wheel has to be. And with my 5mm drill piece, I'm drilling a little hole in the middle. Don't put too much force on the lid. Just slowly drill your hole. That's one wheel done, three more to go. We're using this wheel as a template where the hole needs to go. And you simply line them up, push the drill piece through, mark the top a little bit, and then use this to know where the hole needs to go. Time to make the handle. And from your 15 millimeter copper pipe, you're gonna mark two pieces of 30 centimeters, that's three zero. Use a pipe cutter. You just click this in place where, the, where you need to cut. Twist it around until your piece falls off. So these two pieces make the side handles. Now we just need to know how long the top bit needs to be. I'm gonna measure this. For me, it's 20 centimeters. I'm gonna cut this piece well the same way, just keep twisting the pipe cutter around. On the two side pieces, you wanna make two holes, one on two centimeters and one on six centimeters. I'm using a smaller drill piece first to drill the initial hole and then drill a bigger hole with the 5mm piece because I'm using 5mm uh, bolts. Give it a little sand to make sure it's nice and smooth. Now we're going to attach these pieces together with an elbow piece. You need two elbow pieces. I'm going to simply glue this in place. I'm using Gorilla Super Glue Gel. Just put a little bit on the pipe and push it into the elbow. Do the same on the other side. Just make sure your uh, holes actually face outwards and that the whole piece is nice and flat. Okay, well the glue dries, let's move on to the wheels. You need screws to have a smooth beginning because this is where the wheel's gonna sit, then the normal screw thread. And we're gonna use a small washer on this first, then a bigger one, then your wheel. On the other side we're gonna have a small washer again and then a thicker one, I'm using the square one. And the thread is then going to be uh, screwed into the timber, like this. Don't do the screws too tight, otherwise your wheel won't move. The two wheel base is going to screw in through the basket. You're going to put a washer around your screw, so the screw just doesn't go straight through the basket. You're going to screw it in place and it's going to look a bit like this. Time for the handle. Put the handle in place where you like it to be. And then you're simply gonna look where the screw holes are and push a bolt through. I'm using 5mm bolts. Just simply push it through. If you can't see where you need to go to, just with a screwdriver, open up the woven piece a little bit to see where the hole is. And you can even use a screwdriver to make a little space so you can actually put your bolt through. And on the inside, fasten your bolts with nuts. Ideally, you're gonna use these dome nuts. Unfortunately, I didn't have them correct size, I only had a six millimeter, not a five. So I used these regular nuts. And this is what your basket will look like. Beautiful, but I think I wanna go for the softer look. So I'm gonna wrap the handle in bias binding or this yarn. Choose whatever you think looks nicest. As you can see, I opted for the bias binding. I just simply knotted it in place and started wrapping. Make sure you wrap it around nice and tight. Yeah, I wish I thought about this before, but of course I can't wrap where the bolts are. So 
So there's nothing else to do but take it apart. And I cut these two extra pieces that are gonna go around the bottom and it's gonna wrap it in place. Just make sure your screw holes are still visible because you do have to reattach it to the basket. Double knot the end piece in place and snip it off with your scissors. When I reattached the handle, I did put washers around the bolt, just a bit of extra security. And the end pieces of the bias binding are glued in place with the same super glue. So there you go, from basket to doll pram. so easy to make and I think Kiki really loves playing with it. I think such a nice way of making toys from bits you already have lying around the house. So you need a basket, a bit of pipe, a bit of timber, some bolts and four lids. I use lids as the wheels you saw and for the way we use the pram it's perfectly fine. If you are afraid your child might climb into the little pram and put a lot of pressure on it, I think that might not be strong enough. So I would suggest buying uh, specific wheels, toy wheels for this kind of situation. They're like made from rubber and a little bit more sturdy. But for this normal use and playing around, these lids will be just fine. I'll keep you updated as well to see how long they actually last. So yeah, I went out to buy this basket because I want a specific color. So I spent nine pounds on this basket and the copper piping was five pounds. It's a meter of copper piping. The bias binding and all the bolts are still lying around the shed. So I spent 15 pounds making this little door prem, which is a lot better than the 80 pounds I saw these going for online. So you make something, it's completely unique because you made it yourself and you saved a lot of money. If you enjoyed this video, please have a look at my website, hestershandmadehome.com for more inspiration for your home. And please give the video a thumbs up because it really helps boost this video in the ratings so even more people can see it. I'll be back soon with a new video and I really hope to see you then. So let's keep this real guys, let me just show you a little bit of what goes on behind actually taking uh, videos for the channel. The dog is desperate to get into the shot, he just loves having his picture taken. The child, not so much interested. <laughs> what can you do, eh?